Hello. How's it going, everybody? <laughs> oh, you're too late, Chaisu. But welcome. You joins the stream. Welcome. <laughs> Happy Friday. Exactly. Let's get some fries in the chat. There you go. <laughs> hey, Zab. How's it going? Yeah. It was uh, my first week back at work, and it was busy. I was glad it was Friday, and I have Monday off as well. So maybe I'll work on some Fry's Quest. So I did an interesting thing. I did work on Fry's Quest yesterday, and I got beard coloring working, except just got home from work. Welcome home. Um, except for the long beard, which I feel like we need to have the long beard because I have a long beard. Um, I couldn't color the long beard because it, I couldn't, you couldn't be bald and have You can't long color beard. your own beard either. I, <laughs> I don't want to color my beard. Um, so. Hold on. Years from now, he's going to have that beard and I'm going to get him a red suit. <laughs> hold on. I tried to, I tried to mess with your, your what? thing. And it. Where, where my mom lived, mm -hmm. like, I don't know, 20 years ago, there was this guy who actually looked like Santa, Santa Claus, and he would wear all red and he drove this great big white Cadillac with a red interior. <laughs> <laughs> so he was owning it. He was yeah. owning it. So just yeah. Um, yeah. So, so basically the way the beard, the beard coloring works or the head, the hair coloring works is when you're bald, the model still has hair there. It's like like buzz cut. So what I do is I turn it the same color as the skin. Voila, you're bald. <laughs> and um, unfortunately, when they went to make this model, they made the color of the beard, the long beard only, and the hair the same. And so, Anytime I colored it, in fact, when I changed the skin color, it would change the beard color too. So, so I'm gonna do what I haven't done before, which is crack open the model and see if I can remap the long beard's uh, texture coordinates, basically, to to make it, make it a different color, so that when I do color it. Um, it won't it won't do both so that's i've never done that before but i thought it would be good just in case i ever wanted to do something in, in the future i wanted to change it so change another model so crack open that beard well it's funny because it's just the head model right it's a head model with the big beard and so it has this little mustache and it's got the beard so, <laughs> so. hey Congrats. Um, so, yeah, that, that, that was my adventure yesterday. Um, I do have Monday off, so maybe I'll look at it Saturday night or Monday during the day. We'll see. But I have to almost like learn how this, um, they have some modeling stuff in Unity and I've never used it before. So we'll see. All right, um, Pokemon, we were in the middle of a gym. Uh, it was some sort of brass gym. I want to say it was the fourth gym. I can't remember the name of the city. We had just gone through water, so we just learned surf. We learned that uh, Snorlax can learn surf. And, oh, yeah, po Pokemon hat is required. Yeah, that's true. I was owning that gym. I was definitely owning it. My hair was looking really flat today, and I was like, eh, I'm going to be wearing a Pokemon hat tonight, so it doesn't really matter. Ah. All right. It's funny, it, you know, I, I'm wearing shorts again today because it was hot. Tomorrow it's going to be cold. So we're in this weird yo-yo hot cold weather pattern here in Florida. <laughs> That's where we were with uh, Pokemon. As always, we can... Take a break and play a game off the arcade machine like Mad Planets. It does not have to be Mad Planets. It can be any of the games on that arcade list. And if I beat the high score, 
I'll put your name on the high score list. Take, unplug it. Run our pipes tonight so they don't freeze. Yeah, we don't, it never, it never, I shouldn't say never. It very rarely gets cold enough to freeze and people freak the fuck out here in Florida when it freezes. I remember when I first moved here in 2003. Because in, in Texas, it was very common to run the water and for it to freeze every year. Um, and we didn't freak out. We never had to do we that. We just dealt with it. We just, we, I mean, like, it, we only had to do that if it was, that was like going into the single digits. Oh, you know, we did it any time it was freezing. Co cover the pipes outside. We what would cover pipes, the pipes outside? The, the hose, the, the, the spigot. Oh, yeah. Dad, Dad would put a, like a, thing on the spigot yeah, you put, you'd either put the, the foam towels and you know well no he had a foam thing he'd put on yeah, in the or we had, had to, foam things and we later. had a crawl space so you had to go around and close all the little vents on the crawl space oh yeah we didn't have crawl spaces in texas well i mean that's we didn't live in a in a land of endemic termites <laughs> yeah are you there in texas too yes yeah right it always iced I lived, in, I lived in East Texas, and uh, yeah, it was always ice. And, and in Austin, it was I mean, ice. That's what I've gotten, had to get used to. Like, yeah. here, everything's built on a slab. Yeah, and that's what it was like in Texas, too. In Virginia, if you lived in a slab house, you lived in a cheap house. <laughs> like, like it no, seriously, like a yeah. starter house was built on a slab, or, yeah. you know, like a shitty neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, every, everybody else, everybody... You know, all the good houses had pier and bean. It's funny because I've always thought the opposite. No, because the slab is cheap. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, no, you I just, get it. You I just, get it. You just pour. Yeah. You don't have to build the foundation up and yeah. build the yeah. piers. And... Uh, to realize our true potential, my Pokemon and I must become connected on an emotional level. <laughs> I can't even imagine Dallas. Okay. I recently moved to Dallas-Fort Worth. Yeah, it, it gets a little bit more snowy there. Yeah, we lived, uh, I lived in Round Rock. If you lived in Round Rock. <laughs> That's just north of Dallas, of, uh, uh, of Austin. It's, it's Pokemon Ranger Twiggy. Oh my goodness, he's drooling. Okay, we don't want this. We won't. Lived in Georgetown. I know where, exactly where Georgetown is. And worked in Round Rock. There you go. Did you work for Dell? Because Dell has a huge presence in, in Round Rock. So I've, I'm, I'm so old. <laughs> when I were, when I was living in Austin, I worked. For, oh, it's poison grass. Oh, okay, it needs it does, does need a bit. Um, I worked for a three and a half inch disc. Oh, you walked at the mall. Wow. Okay. Um, I I we did we I we the company I worked for made the discs that went into the Dell computers, like the three and a half inch floppies. And so that's that's it was uh, just the company that that's what they did. I always thought that was fascinating. <laughs> All right. And eggs eggs egg uter. Oh my goodness, I have I remember these things. It is burr cold in Pacific Northwest. Well sorry. <laughs> I didn't realize you were up in are you in Vancouver then, Shipper?
It's been a while, but I I, um, I used to go to Vancouver for work a lot. Close to Vancouver, NBC. NBC, the no, National NBC Broadcasting NBC Company in British Columbia. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just want to save icon. I know I've seen I've shown a floppy disk to my kids, and they are like, oh, like the save icon. <laughs> Like, oh my god, yes. <laughs> I saw I saw a meme somewhere where it was like, oh you 3D printed your a save icon. <laughs> well like, you know no, in, a, in, a, in a vehicle they have the little gas pump, but the gas pump hasn't looked like that in about uh, yeah. thirty five years. That's close enough though. <laughs> Alright, I don't need this. I need to He works at the mall? Oh god, I'm sorry. Well that was back it was way before he moved to uh, Dallas. Uh -oh. This is oh, back is, when it's What does he do now? Paralyze heal. And then... No! Online, online, online ad, ad assessment. assessment job for Google. Oh, okay. I'm not even sure what that would be. I'm trying to find a job. Yeah, Neil's still looking. Maybe that should be a, a regular segment. Neil's still looking for a job because yeah. he's a dick. <laughs> uh oh, I just meant like what what jobs you applied for or something. I, I guess that's not a good. No one cares about that. Look at all the jobs I've applied for and, and got no rejected. One. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right. I think we're all ready for this guy. We're going to switch Izzy to the front. And let's um, heal some Jacques. enough. Hey, isn't great. Looking for a second one, too. Yeah. This guy's some sort of general or something? Oh, my goodness. What? I'm trying to... Con I'm confused by what I'm seeing. Is that... Oh, there's a beard, I guess? Oh, so you made it clear up here. I'm the gym leader. Ramos, the name... So what do you think, whippersnapper? Okay, so he's supposed to be old. Only old people say whippersnapper. <laughs> Did ya en enjoy the garden playground I made with all these sturdy plants of mine? Their strength is a sign of my strength. As a gardener and a gym leader. Evaluate ads, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Evaluate ads, they all suck. All the ads are terrible. <laughs> well, it's mainly about making sure they're they are not taking you to scam sites. Oh. Okay. BDSM Dom Top said Whipper Snapper 2. I don't think that's true. <laughs> but you're not allowed to say that. There you go. That didn't come from you. <laughs> Uh, you sure you're up to facing all that? I guess so. Here we go. Trust me to say all the things that everyone wants to say, but nobody will say. Leader Ramos. He looks so happy. What's wrong with his face? I don't know. His beard is weird. It's is that, not, a, it's is like, that a beard? I, it looks like flesh. I know. <laughs> What the hell is this? He should go have that thing cut off his face. <laughs> Here, we'll hit him with mystical fire. He's a happy grandpa? Okay. I'm just gonna burn his Pokemon. <laughs> hey, Bowling Bear, how's it going? 
I love the gym leader music. It is so rocking. Oh, sorry, I didn't need to. Oh, this one. Oh, he's he's evolved. He's now a meaner goat. He's a a go goat, like a yogurt, a go gurt. Maybe he is a go gurt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Most articles have a lot of ads embedded in them. Unfortunately. Moving and adjusting to living outside the city. Oh, well, I'm glad the move went okay. Nice, nice. Uh -oh, they got me. Well, let's do, we're going to do flame charge. Oh, of course, use the potion. charge again. Someone did their job. Ah, okay. Alright, yeah, I would say, I, I don't even know how they couldn't automate. Oh, look, your ad is an hour long. <laughs> Has to be some sort of threshold. Uh, a what? Weeping Bell. Oh, yeah, I think I remember these from before. Mystical Fire. Burn it. Yes. Well, I'm like 10 levels above this gym. It's going well, Lim Lemon Square. You're not missing much. The danger toy. Ooh, he gave me 5,400 bucks. That's pretty nice. You should give him a voucher to have that thing cut off his face. Yeah, I think those, I think it's supposed to be a beard. I haven't seen flesh colored hair before. <laughs> you believe in your Pokemon and they believe in you too. And they believe in you too. Wait, I already said that. Mighty oaks from acorns grow. Go on then. You earned it. Here is your plant badge, Sprout. <laughs> if you've got yourself a plant badge, then you can use the HM Fly even when not battling. It's a real boon. Pokemon up to level 60 will listen to you, too, easily as falling off a log, even if you got them from a trade. Here, have this, too. Might as well make hay while the sun shines, I reckon. <laughs> what did Neil say? I don't remember what he said. That TM there is a grass knot. La 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 la. You can trip your opponents up in the grass. The heavier the opponent, the harder they fall. Nah. I remember it not being all that great. Uh, maybe it was. It flesh, can? Maybe it was flesh colored hair. Oh, flesh colored hair, probably. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you do have flesh colored hair in Fry Squad. <laughs> that's, uh. that's, how, that's how we do it bald. Exactly. Uh. You were listening. <laughs> I don't think I wanted to know that. Yeah, so th that's how, like, uh, well, I know Flaming Baguette uses the bald head. The bald head has hair, and so I colored it flesh-colored so that you couldn't see it. It's an illusion. Pretty good, not excellent. Here, let's look at it. Oh, it just depends on how heavy the target is. I see. No. 
All right, how do we get out of here, old man? Slide! Wouldn't it be cool if you had a building that had a giant slide like that? <laughs> I think he would like hair-colored hair, actually. Okay. I like how they've had different camera angles on this. Uh oh, Murray's here. Everyone hide. Jokes on you. My hair is growing out currently. Oh. Oh, I see. There you go. <laughs> I didn't realize Murray said that. Welcome, Murray. some potions. Oh, you know, I need to do a marker. I try, I have marker on my stream deck and when there's a boss fight, I usually try to mark the video. I'm way off, but at least it'll remind me to capture it. Uh, da, 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 da. I put those great balls in my pocket. <laughs> the crop circle aliens left on the top. I see. Neil's attitude is he can't see his bald spot, therefore it doesn't exist. It's like the whole tree falling in a woods. I mean, I know it's, I know it's there, and I know. <laughs> I, look, my hair's awful. I just <laughs> accept it and move on with my day. <laughs> oh, wait. Potions. For the most part, I can't tell in general life. Um, but, like, I know it's thinner and whatever. It's, it's not that bad, sweetie. I was just... I can't, unfortunately, I can't just shave my head because I have a dent in my head where they took out skin cancer when I was younger. Making, having hair. What? Okay. I know shipwreck you don't have hair either <laughs> makes you look older is it because of just how it comes in you think that, that I'm the vision of youth without it right well, I, I obviously I think a long gray beard makes me look older so I have I have anticipated I have thought about cutting it back but everyone seems to like my long beard so yeah oh it's your first week back wow this is my, I've already been back one week. Yeah. Shave it off again. I used one of my antidotes. No, I didn't. All right. Okay, so now I think what we need to do is head. Uh, oh, you've been back since the second. Out. Yeah, we have we have Monday, or I have Monday off. Not everyone has Monday off. I guess it's a bank holiday, basically. It's uh, in, uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Let's see. Okay, that was the monorail. Monorail! And then I think we just kind of... You look like Jimmy Stewart. Very... An ass part of... Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you have a wedding in June. 
Oh, we got bad news. What you bring me? Oh, these. Yeah, I'll I'll show people this. Um, got bad news. We got bad news that our 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 barber is stop barbering. He's gonna stop barbering, which that upsets us because he's been our barber for like six years. <laughs> So we don't know what we're gonna. We we got one last appointment next week, and then um, I guess we're gonna find someone else. Even worse. Oh. Yeah, I know. It's, it's um, we'll have to figure it out. So we got these. Um, it's now turned into a food podcast or food show. <laughs> so these are like, what are they? Is this fudge co fudge covered Oreos? I have not tried them yet. It's not bad. They've, they've, they've made them for years. I mean. Yeah, it's pretty good. Mm. Same situation. Oh, yeah, that's right. You told us that. Well, well, he's he's going to go. There's like a hair institute um, near where we live, and he's going to go be the like head of it or something like that. Chief operating officer or something like that. So that's cool. I mean, I'm glad for him. For finding something, you know. Uh, but yeah, you know, why can't he keep cutting on the side? No, I don't think it's the one near us. It's a Veda. No, it's not the one in the mall. It's the one over on. Um, in Winter Park. Yeah, the one in Winter Park. Over near Full Sail. Hmm. It's very fudgy. I'm going to save the second one for later. Okay. It was, uh, uh that I'm was definitely, I'm glad you brought a napkin. Cause that was, that was the serving. I would be, so the serving was one was two. Oh, it was two. Okay. There are only like 12 of them in the package. Yeah. It didn't, it didn't feel like the package had a, too many of them. Oh, it's that guy. Lissan what was his name? Lissandra? <laughs> Lissandre. It's like Andre with La Lissandre. You can correct me. Uh, Professor Sycamore told me you can now wield mega evolution. That is truly wonderful. With that power, you can steer your future in a better direction. You can't just cover up the old filth with new filth. I implore you to consider what we need to do to change the world into a new beautiful world. That's not creepy. Why does he always say picky, uh, creepy shit? Bearing his care and punch goodness. <laughs> Alright. Fudge packing jokes. <laughs> hey Tex, how's it going? My dad works at the fudge packery. <laughs> you can layer filth on filth. Murray's a testament for that, right? Ah, uh, just kidding, trainer. We were we weren't really waiting for you. We were on our way to the power plant at Professor Sycamore's request. But the gate connecting Luminous City to Route 13 has been shut by a mysterious power outage. Excuse me. We have to investigate. Hey, so there's Central Kalos and Coastal Kalos, right? Can you tell me which comes next? I'm just going to give you the answer. It's Mount Kalos. So I'm going to take the, this opportunity to power up uh, your Pokédex again. The Mountain Kalos Pokédex now has now been added. Okay, great. It's like, keep adding a uh, Pokédex. You know, you look different somehow. Your face seems more mature. Point huh? voyage! All right, here we go. Are you talking about shaving your head the first time you shaved your head and it looked okay, you were relieved? I could understand that. I have no idea what I would look like. 
Although I do remember I had my hair. Uh, you have you have I cut it really short once, and you were like, "I don't like your hair like that." <laughs> so. Well, I mean, in that picture that you posted to Discord, your hair is pretty short. Yeah, pretty short there too. It was fine. Yeah, I mean, but you have. You have too nice of hair to to, to have to it short <laughs> to sh no to shave your head. Right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Or to buzz it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like you have like nice your, hair. Your hair actually styles. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot to re redo this. This is a this is a dirt Pokemon. He's so dirty. That looks good. Yeah. I've heard this music way too much. It's a, it's a dildo Pokemon. If you say so. Oh, I didn't see if we had one of those. I was just like, what can I do to kill it? a good Pokemon. Alright. Well, I will try. God, dang it. It's not going to let me even move a step. Well, here's another one. A Doug Trio? Is that what it's called? If I don't have it. Too strong. Because the music <laughs> is too much, is too addicting. I don't mind. I don't mind it. I like it. I could probably turn it down a little bit. And we're attacked. People like hearing the music and the sounds for these old games because it's nostalgic. So, all right, so we've already captured a trap inch. This is my favorite animation: is Surf, because he jumps on the water and it makes the, it makes the wave. <laughs> it's so awesome. Oh, Hodor did level up. Oh, but he's still the lowest. You know, though, let's see, where's the... Where's Pollo Loco? He needs... Oh, wait, no. No, 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 no. Sorry. Not Pollo Loco. This guy. And then we're going to give Odor. 
the lucky egg. Silk scarf. What was silk scarf? Oh, that that helped with normal items, wasn't it? Game Boy, Game Boy Color, uh, getting a vinyl record release. Oh, yeah. Stop justifying your spending habits. <laughs> You're hoarding. Well, they do that. I, I don't know if they do that here, there, but here they have, um, uh, like, the music of Final Fantasy, a live orchestra. Like, we went to a live orchestra of Star Trek, and it was a little fake. Because <laughs> they were basically playing to a track. It messed up at one point. <clears throat> oh, that. Yeah, you remember that? Yes. I can't believe we paid for that. Yeah. They were basically it was, augmenting it was, a track. Yeah, it was like a, it was like a, yeah, a band augmenting a yeah. uh, orchestra track. Orchestra track, yeah. It was the lip syncing of. <laughs> no, and lip syncing because no, was, no, but it was like lip syncing. It was like it. Wearing Sonic the Hedgehog. Well, hopefully it's not like the Star Trek one where they're just playing to a. <laughs> Star Wars? Okay. Uh, are we back to going low frame rate again? I don't understand why it goes low frame rate sometimes. It totally did have an uh, Ashley Simpson uh, uh, SNL moment. Looking all weird. Yeah, like now it's not even moving. Now it crashed. Let me get. I'm gonna get through this battle here. I don't think I can bring it back without resetting it. Millie Vanilli, yeah. Well, it wasn't Millie Vanilli because they were actually playing. Right, so we're saving. Close. I actually may need to reset it. That, that definitely worked last. So we'll do that real quick here. Why, hello there. <laughs> While I'm resetting the uh, DS. I saw Gwen Stefani's Hollerback Girl is turning 20. Oh my god. Hmm. Hmm. Are you upset about that? I don't know. I'm not a Hollerback Girl. Huh? That shit is bananas. That B -A -N -A -N -A -S. shit is bananas. B n n a n a s. It's B a n. B a n a n a s. Yeah, that didn't sound like what you said. <laughs> Neil's like, you don't know how to spell bananas. And you were giving us a Dan Quayle moment. <laughs> I know Gwen Stefani, and you're no Gwen Stefani. Oh, wait, that's Al Gore response to that. Oh, yeah, he was potato. He didn't know how to spell potato. We're old. We remember the 90s.
already running. Oh, did I run it twice? I ran the app. Twice. I just remember the weird song she put out, and I think it was on that album, and it was like based off of the Lonely Goat Herd song from The Sound of Music. <laughs> that was weird as shit. <laughs> If you're 39 or older, you're now older than Stifler's mom in America Pie 1. <laughs> yeah, Wind It Up. That's the song. Yeah. I was just like, this is the weirdest song I've ever heard when I <laughs> heard it the first time. And I ended up kind of liking it, but it was just like, what on earth? I was thinking like it's like I'm running in place. Is it too windy? It's like what's next? Are they gonna make a pop song with the theme to mod or something? <laughs> I've already talked to this. Those team flare people in those red suits, nobody who's worth anything hangs out with a group wearing garish outfits like that. It's a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> I'm, I'm a member of the stylish team Flair. I'm gonna win in style. Yeah, I, I know. I know about all about Frank Varian. It was behind several acts. Oh, it's a devil dog. Devil, the devil. I don't know what that devil dog is, but we're gonna bring in Hoya Loco. Dark Fire. I think you told me that before. So maybe I should have kept, kept him. We're gonna do low speed. Yeah. Oh, I killed him. that would rile Zap up. Well, I'm going to use an ancient power against him. bat is love <laughs> Why? it is a bat does dragon work against flying what the 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 bat thing has an extremely disturbing mouth <laughs> it's like the tardis it's bigger on the it's inside bigger on the inside what what are dragon moves 
good against. Reminds me, because I don't really have ever really had a dragon. Dragon does normal damage to flying. Okay, but what is what is dragon good against? Well, I knew it's good at, at other dragons. That's it. And now I'll stylishly run away. <laughs> you should say something like Shashé away. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where's my pokey? Where's my power pat? Where's my power plant pass? Oh no. Did I drop my power plant pant? Power plant pass somewhere. Has a lot of resistance, though. Okay. I know what to do. I'll make a stylish deduction. I I must have dropped it when I was feeling around that boulder nine. Nine a uh, uh, boulder nine steps east of where I'm standing. Okay. Nine steps east. Okay. If only I had a dowsing machine, then I could find it with style. God, how, uh, how obvious. I think it's weird that it's called a dousing machine. Is it like the rinsing machine and the filling machine? That's what I feel like it should be. D Dowsing doesn't use a machine. It's a it's a pseudoscience. All it ever finds is water. Uh, I think they tried to douse for oil, but I like I'm not sure that, that would actually. I'm not sure that it works at all. I guess they are dousing rods. It's not for finding water, it's for finding stuff. That is pretty cool music. Knock, knock, who's there? Uh-oh. You who, knock, 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 me who. Seriously, though, who are you? Only authorized personnel are allowed in here. <laughs> are they going to flamingo? That's what it looks like. Oh. Elton John? You're fighting Elton John? Yeah. Well, he has Team Flair. All right, have a good one, Murray. Thanks for stopping by. All right, so I know he's fighting. No, no, no. Fighting is good against normal. Not the other way around. Although I just squished him. The flamingo is a dance I can see them doing. <laughs> Next thing you know, that that uh, friend in this game who likes dancing is going to be part of Team Flare. He's going to be like, I've, I've, uh, I've defected. I've defected to Team Flare because they like dancing. Croagunk. They are team player. They are team player. Oh, this one is water. Wait, what? Water poison? I never use rollout. Oh, that's terrible. That's a bad move. Don't hurt Snorlax. Don't hurt him. Don't confuse him. I 
<laughs> not very effective at it. Crushed him. He's poison fighting. Okay. They only have, I mean, they were pretty bad. They only did like one animation. One. Per character. Who do you think you are? Team player is busy redirecting the power that's supposed to go to Lumino City. See? <laughs> Don't get in our way. <laughs> there is a onesie for that. Uh, let's go. We'll go this way. Out of my way. Team Flare. I can't go that way. Are you trying to play us for a fool, kid? You don't seriously think you can just barge in there and take us on all by yourself, do you? <laughs> Okay, so you said poison fighting. Uh, so let's do um, let's do Poyo Loco. That crushed him. Another goal bat, huh? Play the pokey flute. I'm not sneaky. It's there. You just have to know how to wake up Snorlax. Ball. You have to know. Crap. See, that's maybe that's why I don't like Golbat. Is he always casts. Um, and I do not like it. I'm fuels. You confuse me. That mouth is kind of disconcerting, isn't it? It's very disconcerting. It's like he has it's no way body. Too, it's way too like, large his for the body. Organs. <laughs> it's just the, and it's just a black hole. Yeah. <laughs> sold it for me yeah <laughs> all right flamethrower 90 all right i like that all right let's see here 65 50 80 55 um, so I guess maybe get rid of, uh, flame charge, I'm thinking. Face when evolving, yeah. What do you think, Zab? Zab's usually my, or anyone. I'm thinking get rid of flame charge. It only does 50 power, or flame thrower, thrower is 90. Although I do like Flame Charge because it increases your speed. And that is, that's awesome. But, you know, it's time to, time to upgrade. This 
music is cool. Over physical, so flamethrower would be better overall. Got it. Oh, this does not look good. Hey, stop right there, intruder. I'll warn you now. I can be persistent. <laughs> A lot of team flare in here. Uh, a mighty Anna. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> where, where did he go? He went to your mom's house. He went to your mom's house. <laughs> I like seeing him faint dead. Now I'm mad. I told you I was persistent. I refuse to budge from the spot, not an inch. Let me guess, I gotta go this way. Oh, I sure do love me a good happening. What? I love the feel of an of accomplishment that comes with overcoming a challenge. Oh, another scraggy. We, used to, we would call him poor skin guy. The only reason I know him. Well, he's not doing it right now, but he always had an animation where he pulls on his pants, I guess that is? Now, all the way up to his neck. There he goes. Oh, he's doing it a little bit. His face bothers me. Yeah, I mean, well, yeah. I mean, Lexus hat as opposed to a Pokemon one. Oh, what? My my hat? <laughs> is a Pokemon. It is, it is. It's from the show. It's an Ash hat. You might call me an Ash hat. It's from the top turnbuckle. <laughs> Ashola? Ashola! Another goal bat. Oh Asweepe. Asweepe. Loco wants to learn Feather Dance. Of course he does. I don't think Feather Dance is a good move, right? Covers the target's body with a massive down that harshly lowers its attack stat. Yeah. Thanks. No. 
defeated. At least I've got plenty of money. All right. <laughs> Have a good one, Zab. I will see you later. Later on. Later, alligator. I hope dinner is good. You'll have to tell us what it was. Yeah. McDonald's. McDonald's, look out. That's gourmet and shit. I can't get him to eat McDonald's because yeah, I don't he like doesn't. McDonald's. He worked there. I did. I did when I was a kid. But you've never said it's because you worked there. You just. No, I just don't like that they don't. Uh, like, I don't. They probably do fine now, but I always was like, I don't want pickles on my hamburger, right? And so I always saw that as like a custom thing and i always thought mcdonald's didn't do custom and that's probably because i worked there and it, they literally always custom have. orders was a was a pain in the, sh in the ass they we had to write it on a piece of paper and then hand it back to the you had to write it on a piece of paper literally had to write it on a piece of paper it was a special order wait and this was i like mean i know I, I, I know you worked at, at mcdonald's did you work at mcdonald's in the 19 <laughs> 50s yeah, like we would, we would boop, 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 boop. oh you want your hamburger without pickles okay there's one without pickles. well they should have given you a microphone like at wendy's yeah uh we need one without pickles single like with that. cheese no pickle <laughs> yeah. 86 the pickle like that where's the pickle <laughs> that's the surprise that's the surprise Aren't these sunglasses the coolest? I bet you're jealous. Too bad you can't have them. Wow. He's quite mean. Quite, quite mean. Oh, he's starting with gold bath this time. Snorlax. Snorlax. Pirate's been doing a good job of, with gold bath, so... Hey, Zeno! How is it going? It is a Snorlax. Isn't he cute? Yeah, yeah, you like my prize quest too? You gotta, you gotta advertise. Yeah, I, sw I swapped him out. <laughs> That's the surprise! Evil Bud showing us his pickles. Oh wait, he switched. He's been identified. Well, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna do... Do it again. Yeah. Could be exhaustion. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. But it's 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 you have to be in the mood, right? Well, this isn't a gym. This is the power plant, and we're we're just sitting here fighting Team Flare. <laughs> Did they ever go? Woo! No, no, it's not. <laughs> it's not uh, Rick Flair. No. Yeah, it would be funny if it was Team Rick Flair. What is that? Now? <laughs> yeah, they're like stealing the power from the power plant or something like that. There's like a, a Pikachu wedged in there. <laughs> Let's uh, do Dragon Claw one more time.
All right, there we go. Tyrant knows. Yeah, there you go. It's probably a Voltor. <laughs> wasn't there, wasn't one of the other games like that where there was a power plant and the Voltor was in it? That sounds familiar. Have they already done this? Ooh, the user rampages and attacks for two to three turns. The user then becomes confused. Oh my God. No. I don't like this move. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna confuse myself. Was it okay? It was Gen One okay? That was many games ago. <laughs> we found out that was like two years ago. I hit forget again. He's happy. Let's heal. Good enough. And let's save. Plug it in. Okay, am I paused? Yeah. All right, we're going to play some Fry's Quest. Oh. We got to turn off the Pokemon music. All right, exclamation mark, join if you'd like to play some prize quest. That's true, they have randomizers now all over the place on those. Try something, will ya? I try to play the original stuff, mainly because these are all first playthroughs for me. So. I have been thinking a lot about the class, you know, the changing class stuff. I think what I'm going to do is kind of write up ready for action, almost like a design document of here's how I'm going to implement, um, classes and then kind of, uh, kind of put it out there for y'all to review. Maybe we'll go over it in one of the streams. Review it, get some real time feedback. Yeah, exclamation mark join if you played last game. Yeah. Ready. What do you mean I need to be ready? Called Pokemon Infinite Fusion. I've heard that, where they travel through uh, and have a team fused Pokemon. Oh, okay. I think I've, yeah, I have, I think I have heard about that. Hey, Justin. Hope you're doing well. Hey, Justin. Okay, don't leave. All right, I'm not leaving. Hold a moment, okay? I'm holding. I used Please to be hold. an adventurer like you until I Please took hold. an arrow in the knee. <laughs> ah. Yeah, if it's if it's using the Pokemon uh, IP. They probably have to hide it from uh, 
Uh, oh. <laughs> They're probably trying to hide it from Nintendo. What? How did... I didn't even see that coming. Hope June. How's it going? <laughs> so we got news today that... Oh, you're playing Majora's Mask. Nice. We got news today that my youngest daughter was accepted to the University of Central Florida. <laughs> um, but she's not sure if she wants to go there. That was her backup school. So, uh, so she's trying to get into Florida and UCF is her backup school. So there you go. <laughs> Pokemon developer have their sprites copyrighted. Yeah, of course they do. Lemon score. Yeah, yeah. Back up. Congratulations. Yeah, I'm sure she. Feel, I didn't get to talk to her. She came in and I was already streaming. But um, yeah, <laughs> downside still. Yeah. Um, I'm sure it's a relief for her though, because she had she had she had basically done Florida and UCF and hadn't heard back yet from either one of them, and so and Florida's actually kind of hard to get into. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll see. So I'm sure she's, she's pretty happy today. All right. All right. Now I can take my break. Thank you so much, Hope, for the raid. Welcome, everybody. Uh, this is Fry's Quest. Uh, feel free to jump in when the store pops up if you want to play some Fry's Quest. Um, but I'm going to take a break. We'll come back and we'll play. Uh, I love playing clips from Hope's stream. She always looks so frustrated. But I'll be right back. See you in a second. Buy something, will ya? Monsters stole me lucky charms. Ready? What do you mean I need to be ready? Ready for and battle. Where's the cheese? Where's the cheese for these fries that I ordered? Ready for battle. Ready for battle. you're buying a Ready potion. For action. It might prevent death. Side effects might include growing mushrooms and warts and loss of sensation in naughty places. Have fun storming the castle.
will ya? Ready for battle. Ready for action. Ready? What do you mean I need to be ready? And where's the cheese? Where's the cheese for these fries that I ordered? Those monsters stole me lucky charms! Ready for action. Ready for action. Give him hell, kiddo. Target one. Target, target one. Thanks, Flaming Baguette. And Dark Passenger. <laughs> Sixty-nine. <laughs> like how it was like invalid target, even though you put it in there. story is is next um uh let's see we just finished the fourth gym so maybe almost halfway through maybe so it's probably another week at least i mean i have this <laughs> on my desk now For the last story. It's uh, the next game I'm playing. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you had the the weak 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 condom. You're 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 muted, by the way. That wasn't one of the ones with the motion thing built in. I had to add it to. The yeah, yeah. It has it. the Wii Motion Plus yeah, on the end. Yeah. And it came with that to sort of. <laughs> I kind of, I kind of miss my Wii. <laughs> you miss your Wii? I mean, I'm like, I miss playing the Wii. Yeah. Like, well, I mean, Nintendo. We, we still have your Wii. Nintendo created something interesting, and so they totally yeah. abandoned it. Because they were too set on having a handheld thing. Yeah. Well, we should hear something about the Wii, not the Wii, the, the Switch 2 this year. <laughs> I, I wish I could have said that and it not turned into what it's turned into. <laughs> hey, they named it the Wii. You could have called it my Nintendo Wii console. He just decided not to talk. He's just like. <laughs> I 
goes back to reading. What? Maybe that's why they stopped with it. It was the Wii was actually a very, very popular console. Made sold a lot of money. Sold a lot of consoles. Call it a Nintendo, so they lose their trademark. Yeah. Give me French. Wee! Wee me, monsieur. I remember the commercials with the two Japanese men going, We would like to play. <laughs> yeah, um, when I was playing Super Paper Mario uh, on stream, we watched the commercial and it had those two gentlemen in it oh. where they came by and we would like to play. And I'm like, what the hell? Oh, yeah, I forgot about these guys. people playing because the console became so it did it became super popular in retirement homes i guess because you could you know i don't know play easily with it i guess <laughs> oh my goodness Justin won and he wasn't the highest percentage but you know it was probably going to be what flaming baguette Justin or dark passenger <laughs> i don't think it was that rigged <laughs> all right does anyone need to level up no it looks good. <laughs> did you see that i added the percentage chances of winning in the chat oops i almost picked up this to play pokemon no pokemon for the wii there was no pokemon on the wii i'm sure there was like something like, well, it was mainly on the on the handhelds back then. It was on the DS and the 3DS. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that thank you, Flaming Baguette, for reminding me. Plus, I always I love playing Hope's clips too. So. Oh, sure. Yeah, sure. Totally, totally. It was hilarious. That was a good job. It was a birthday video for Justice, the Gigglepuss gang, that uh, Justin put together, and uh, it was pretty funny. I showed it to you, Neil. Well, hold on. Let's. No, I saw it. What'd you think? It was pretty good. Yeah. All right, hold on. Oh, another Ori. Ah! Uh, holy crap. Uh-uh. No! Oh. No! Okay, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. Oh, now you're dead. If you would have let me jump, you... Oh, I have nasty words for you, ma'am. <laughs> nasty words. <laughs> Thanks again. Hope, hope hope if you're still here, thanks for the raid. Yeah, well, I mean, it was pretty obvious because you used the Barbie font at the end. Yeah, the Barbie font. Yeah, not nasty words. Oh, my. <laughs> All right, let's keep walking. And we're walking, and we're walking. Oh, another one. Go Team Flare, go Team Flare. F to the L to the A to the R to the E. <laughs> Flare, we bring it, you know it. Of Doom, yeah, it's kind of Doom-like. A Swallet, oh my goodness, what the hell is that? Is that Kiki D? The Swallet. I'm gonna try and wash it away. I don't know what it is. 
but it's got to be susceptible to water. Oh, it wasn't. Oh, Tex, you want me to play arcade mode? Let me know what you want me to play, and we'll do it after this battle. Huh. I'll try Body Slam. Wacko. I haven't played Wacko since I put it on there. We will try it out. Oh, it did the same thing to me. <laughs> you swallow it. Green Glob Pokemon Dolphin. It's evolved form. Okay. That's it? He just had one? That wasn't that hard. All right. Ah. Oh, I can't put it there. All right, we'll put it there. All right. XPNC wants me to play uh, Wacko in... Okay, Bard. Let me turn off. Once again, I forget to turn off the DS. There we go. Yeah, I, I didn't want to drop the DS again. Dropped it twice in the last stream. <laughs> I can't remember. There was something weird about these controls, and I don't remember what they are. Thirteen thousand three hundred is the highest score. Not very high, if I remember right. Well, like I said, I only played this, I think, once. I don't think I've played it that much. There's the marquee. Yeah, you're like, you're, you're the little alien creature, and you can shoot in different directions. And then, well, obviously, I played it a couple of times. Hmm. Well, we may have to remember how to play this, so... Let's try it.
see what's going on. It's it's it becomes really hard. Why? Um, yeah, it was interesting. The game is interesting because, uh, you move with the trackball and then you fire with the controller. So I kept wanting to move with the controller and I had to keep training my brain. I'm moving with the trackball, shooting with the controller. So it's kind of a different way of controlling it. All right, so I it wasn't too bad for my first try. I hadn't played it in a while. And I got 9,500. That's pretty close. So, yeah, as you can see, it's almost like a matching game. You have to match the two monsters before you go into the next one. So that's kind of interesting. Yeah. I didn't think it was too bad. What did I get? Fifth? <laughs> All right, let's try it again. That mad rush at the end is so hard. I think I need to kind of get out to the side. This almost like becomes Robotron. All It's one of those games where once you get used to the controls, it's easy. Yeah, yeah. Well, right there at the end, so they all became little. And then they kind of mad rush you. And so I think what you have to do is kind of get to the outside, and then you can, then they won't come up behind you. All right, let's see it. Let's try Third game. <laughs> Let's <laughs> go. 
What are the end guys? I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. So close. Yeah, that egg, I guess. Do I have to match the eggs then at the end? Match creatures will disappear and hit 300 points. Let's see if it says something about the eggs. Will not disappear until one are gone. Okay. What are you playing? One cruiser lost when touched by any creature. Oh, they're not going to tell you about the. the the eggs. What are you playing? It's a game called Wacko. And you have to match up the creatures. It's like a matching game. It looks terrible. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Last one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I didn't beat it. Oh, well. Well, we'll have to try again some other time. <laughs> yeah, that was it. That was it's an interesting game. But why did why did you choose it? You were looking over the list and, and uh, yeah, it was, it's an interesting game. Uh, I just haven't played it enough. It's, uh... Back at it. Let me turn the music on. Oh, look at that. Another team player. What do I want to do? Hmm. How about inflicting some serious pain on your Pokemon? Wow, he doesn't seem very nice. Or she. Wait. Like, why would they want to inflict pain? Why wouldn't they want to inflict pain on you? Like, it doesn't no, make any sense. No, inflict pain on my Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. No, I heard you. Oh, okay. I'm just saying... It doesn't make any sense. If they didn't like you, why wouldn't they just inflict pain on you? Why? Why am I Pokemon? What? Why is the, Why is this war by proxy? <laughs> war by Pokemon. No, it is in fact war by proxy. You have a proxy who's the fighting Pokemon. on your behalf. Yeah. Pokemon. Proxymon. This is all a a, a political metaphor <laughs> to the Vietnam War. Sorry, my back itches. Scratching my back. Alright. A swallow. 
Uh, we'll switch. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, this thing. to use the same move basically. Fine by me. That's why Encore is a be better as a bad thing. War only a few years before. And they did use Pokemon, so it was a proxy war. <laughs> get past me. My pride is enough to keep you at bay. I feel like someone had to sit here and write all of these and just start running out of ideas. He said fighting poison. That's a weird dying animation. A scraggy. We will keep battling. life part is. It's dark, isn't it? Because I think I had a life part at one point. Psychic doesn't affect dark. I did have it back in black too. What's good against dark? And I've asked this I think every time, you know, at meals like light. What? I was just asking what's good against dark Pokemon. Fighting, okay, so I should have stayed with my Poyo Loco. I mean, Flamethrower toasted it, but... Fighting Pokemon are pretty good. longer if 
you're just interested in the facts, I'd say we already have enough energy to power the device. Good. Let's finish up here and move out. There's still more work to be done. What other work do you mean? Perhaps you mean taking out that annoying little Pokemon trainer over there. What's this? I didn't think anyone remained here after we dealt with the workers. Who's this? Oh my goodness. It's, uh, um, it's, uh, who's, who's the, uh, the bald singer? I'm completely blanking on his name. Oh, anyway. You're challenged by Team Flair admin. Houndoom. Okay. Not to Elton John, not Paul Elton John. Pitbull! That's who I was thinking of. Pitbull. He looks like Pitbull. He totally looks like Pitbull. He looks like Pitbull? The the other trainer. Oh. Let's let's try uh is it Fenga fighting? He looks exactly like Pitbull. Okay. <laughs> I think that's what it was, is the outfit. <laughs> oh shit. That was it? You only had one Pokemon? Yeah. If my, oh. If my analysis... Oh, he does look like Pitbull with red sunglasses. <laughs> and red gloves. <laughs> that or some kind of weird evil villain. Yeah. If my analysis is correct, and it always is, this battle is 100% a failure on my part. I mean, who's this other lady? Scientist, take care of this pesky intruder. <laughs> it would be my pleasure. Come on, little trainer. Let's see what you've got. <laughs> oh, they're gonna let me allow me to heal up before the battle. How nice of them. Allow me to introduce myself, intruder. My name is Elena. And as you may see, I am the one of Team Flare's scientists. I'm researching a certain kind that you wouldn't understand anyway. Unfortunately for you, I've been charged with the simple task of your elimination. Is this Jayla? Oh my goodness, those, oh. I don't know what she is. Mighty Anna. Okay, so he's just another dark. Okay, well, let's just, we're just gonna do. Uh, hang down again. Lady Gaga, J Lo. Taco, taco, taco burrito, make it run for the border. Oh, he pushed, he pushed Hodor back into the battle.
He wants to see surf. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who wants to learn what? Block. User blocks the target's way with arms spread wide to prevent escape. Sounds like a terrible move. You're quite strong. Oh, yes. Very strong indeed. <laughs> oh, that makes sense if you're hunting legendaries. Yeah. Or Abra? What about Kadabra? Or Alakazam? <laughs> well, I certainly didn't expect you to be so interesting. I do hope we can meet again. And they're gone. Oh my! Who are these people? They've got masks. You chased off that mysterious bunch before we could even get here. Well, I guess there's always room for more defenders of Kalos. Let me let me heal your Pokemon as thanks. You and your Pokemon are the ultimate team, no doubt about it. But don't push yourself too hard here. Take these. Ooh, full restores. Abra only knows teleport and escapes from battle. Ah, okay. Thanks to you, the power is back on in Lumio City. Now people can pass through the gate connecting Route 13 to Lumio City again. Well, I think uh, I think us mysterious people will be off now. I leave. Uh, I leave before being left. I decide. Au revoir. Okay. It's like, who are these people? I feel like I, there should be something here. That's it. I wanted this to be cooler. Maybe there was something... We kind of just went right to it. I wonder if there's something this way. It's the scientists. I knew you'd save us. I never doubted for a moment. Ooh, thanks, flame charge. That's true, I could douse. The more a Pokemon uses flame charge, the higher the speed will go on. Thanks to you and your Pokemon, we were able to get everything up and running again. Thanks so much. Please accept this. A magnet. Is magnet any good? I don't think magnet's all that great. Oh no, she's giving me a magnet. Give the magnet to your Pokemon to increase the power of electric type. That's what it was. I don't have any electric. Space, space based photovoltaic power generation. It's not as complicated as it sounds. We have an operation in outer space that gathers energy from the sun and beams it down here in the form of microwaves and electromagnetic waves. We've got the Pokemon called Por Porygon helping with our outer space operation. There's outer space Pokemon? What? Now, uh, how about some fresh water? They usually go $200 a bottle. But I'll I'll sell them. what? But just for you, I'll sell them for one hundred a pop. Uh, is that a, really a good deal? Sure. I'll take one. There are some Pokemon from space. Okay. 
I'll give you, instead of just giving me water, I'll give you half off water. I'm not stuck. I'm just that a, uh, it's, it's just that a pleasantly cool breeze drifts through here. <laughs> okay. Zap plate. What does the zap plate do? An item to be held by a Pokemon. It is a stone tablet that boosts electric mood. Well, <laughs> what are we supposed to have two? When the power plant has problems, the northern gate in Lumino City closes down. All right, so what you're saying is everything should be okay. Uh, okay, to charge its type. Hey, pass. How are you? We just restored power to the power plant. Let's look at the, the map. The map. The map. The map. The net. A magic car game. Tournament. I think you you meant must meant hard, uh, and didn't get in last. There you go. Congrats for not being last. <laughs> it looks like I just continue because we went off over here. Okay. I want to get on the end of this. Okay. I must have to hmm. How do you How do you get over those gaps? Were the folks at the Kalos power plant on vacation or something? Not to be in last place. <laughs> Who is this? It's a giant. You're tall. The Pokemon. The flower Pokemon. A Pokemon that was given eternal life. What the hell was that? You have to be going fast. Is that what it is? <laughs> oh, it's a graveler. Graveler is toast. What do you think? I could level up Hodor. I could just wait until Izzy gets a little bit more experience. I think I'll wait until Izzy gets more experience. And then use it. 
use that rare candy. Oh, what was the question? Oh yeah, the arms. Hey, we're back in Paris. Jay Meister. I ran after you like crazy when I spotted you up ahead. Know what? I heard the power's back on here in Lumio City. Some really bad people were stealing electricity from the Kalos power plant. And then somebody came and stopped them. No one knows who, but they must be awesome. Who do you think it was? It was me. Whoa, no way, you, Jay Meister. You get this. They're gonna light the tower. Let's go see it, Jay Meister. It's Lumio City's most famous site. Nothing like the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Alucha? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that... Uh, that's Pollo... Uh, Tropical, no, uh, Pollo Loco. Yeah. And I gotta remember not to save. Remind me not to save, okay? Yep, still have it passed. This, this way, straight ahead, you'll run smack into Prism Tower. Wait, is there a Pokemon Center? Let's go into the Pokemon Center. Hey, Richard. Used any Pokeballs. Pokey centers. Am I going the wrong way now? Good timing. They're just about to turn on the lights. Look, it's Cl Clement. He's Lumio City's gym leader. He's also good at inventing things, and he makes all kinds of devices. Those two are my friends. What? Aren't you done yet? Not quite. I just have to check on the lighting circuit here. Oh, Shauna. Are you a challenger? Sorry, but could you wait a moment? Come on, Claremont. All right, everything's ready. The future is now, thanks to science. Act Prism Tower Lighting System, activate! Lamont. We're in XY Anime. Ah, okay. Wonder Twin Powers, activate! Yeah. It's nothing like the Eiffel Tower. I think you call this feeling being entranced, right? Now I have another great memory with you, J. Meister. Excellent. My prison tower lighting system worked brilliantly, just like all of my inventions. Yeah, right, whatever. There are challengers waiting for you, you know. Prism Tower itself is Lumio City's Pokemon gem. Claremont's inventions were sure are amazing, right? He gave me one of that solves puzzles, but it always see feels like a shame to use it, so I haven't yet. Okay, good luck at the gym. I guess we're taking on this gym. 
two gems in one in one stream? What the hell? I don't even know what they are. What's cooking, good looking? Ah, uh, future champ, back for more? The Pokemon gym here in Lumio City is just full up of electric type trainers. Yay. You can just feel the buzz, am I right? It's also known as a quiz gym. Oh, great. You're looking a might physical friend. You know, uh, you want to know why it's called that? <laughs> You'll find the answers inside. This person. Electric type Pokemon don't have many weaknesses. The Shining Prism Tower is like a lighthouse for people's minds. It may look like a waste of energy, but it's important. First 30%, but the middle part is weaker story-wise. Did I just leave? I thought I came in through the mouth. Oh, I see. I have to go in the elevator. Ah, you're the trainer from before. Come straight for a battle, have you? Well, good. You can call me Bonnie. I'm this gym leader's younger sister. Go ahead and step into the small square. You, you a few steps directly ahead of you, won't you? You will have to answer my questions if you want to get any further ahead. Great. Quiz time. Oh my god, it's Pikachu. Is this going to be... Which Pokemon is it? Who's that Pokemon? It's uh, Pikachu. Go talk to the trainer who's the same number as the right answer. You've chosen Pikachu. Yes. Let's have a Pokemon battle before we can compare answers. That's not fair. I thought I would not have... <laughs> You are challenged by Schoolboy Finian. I feel like if I get it correct, there shouldn't be any Pokemon. Is water? Water's not good against uh, water Pokemon. It's going to be ground type. I have grass. I have Jacques. Jacques is... Uh, you gotta fight. You gotta fight for your right to party. Don't hurt, Jock. You know, you, you're screwed because Mega Evolution. Where's my razor leaf? I guess maybe it's going to be easier. Does he have a steel move? Uh, oh, is steel good against them? I don't think he does have a steel move. His steel move was like swords something and it was like not a good, very good move he has like two fighting and um ding 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 you were correct well aren't you a clever one good against fairy um what does he have he has sword dance but it's normal 
He is Bone Crush, which is ground. So Bone Crush would be good in, in this one. Yeah, there you go. Quiz time. Uh, that's a bird one. <laughs> I think I know this one. Fletchling, Pidgey, or Tallow. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. All right, I'm going to go. Oh, no. Hold on. What was it again? Yeah, tell me it to me again. Yeah, let me figure it out. Don't yeah, don't don't uh don't tell me. Um it's a bird. Fletchling Pidgey or Talio. I wanna say it's Talio, but I'm very unsure. I was gonna say I was gonna I was gonna get this. I have a feeling I'm not right. Look at my butt! <laughs> it's definitely a bird. Yeah, I know. It's like, oh, I thought I was gonna, I thought I was like, I'm gonna know it because it'll be a bird Pokemon. And then it's like, oh, let me tell you three bird Pokemon. And I was like, oh, don't tell me three bird Pokemon. Yeah, there's a lot of bird Pokemon out there. I just thought they would be taking it easy on me. I was really surprised. Yeah, that's, that's what I figured. What's the question again? That one. It's either Fletchling or Pidgey. I I'm pretty sure it's not Pidgey. I think that's I think they're trying to uh and it's probably that's exactly I know. Pokey Millionaire. <laughs> my butt.
Uh oh, it's a little Pikachu. It's an unevolved Pikachu. Oh, not bag. Mega Evolution. Just say I'm gonna get more an unevolved Pikachu. Oh, it's a fully evolved Pikachu. So that's the next evolution of Pikachu. Uh. I get more money. Twenty one hundred. See, she, I'm getting more money this way. Oh, this is oh, this is stressful. Oh, it's gonna hit X again, isn't it? <laughs> I was correct. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, here we go again. Oh, I know what that one is. Oh, and it's got the explosion. Um That is And poor. I'm pretty sure I'm correct. Because I had a pan poor at the beginning, and we were making fun of his head. And I knew it was going to do that pan sage, pan poor, pan whatever. How was that? Mega Evolution. <laughs> I gotta say that every time. Though. Oh, he's static. He paralyzed me. I don't think you have to do it more than once. That's not fair. Oh, just pedal, pedal dance until you die, basically. <laughs> exactly. Pretty sure this is correct. You're stuck until it confuses you. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure I'm right. Yeah. <laughs> I was pretty sure I was right. <laughs> I was pretty sure. I was pretty sure I was right on that one. Oh, another one. I guess there's four usually. <laughs> then get dizzy, but it's 120 attack power. Yeah, exactly. Okay, a butterfly. Uh, what? Oh my God. <laughs> oh, okay. It's different. Which one is uh, Vivalon? All right, let's look at it again. Let's look at him again. All right, I want to talk to him again. Okay. 
I don't think it's that one. Ooh. Oh. Ah. Hmm. Wrap. I'm gonna try to. <laughs> I thought I was gonna send out the the one Pokemon that was attack that uh, was part of the quiz. Oh, I forgot I'm still paralyzed. Pokemon. Oh, yes. <laughs> I was I was not confident in my answer by the way. I was not confident. <laughs> See, I am a Pokemaster. <laughs> oh, is that who it was? Okay. And then super potions. All right, here we go. <laughs> exactly. I knew I was a Pokey Raster. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Ah, thank you again for coming. Allow me to introduce myself. This is the gym leader of Lumio City, Lamont. You'd better watch out. My brother, strong. As strong as you'd expect a Lumio City gym leader to be. Got it? Bonnie, how many times do I have to remind you? It's not my own strength that matters, nor any other tr trainers. None of us will be here if it weren't for our Pokemon. This is terrifying. It's, it looks like you're talking to Precious Moments dolls. <laughs> With the big eyes. I know, I know. Anyway, I hope you two have an awesome battle. Well, he's got, like, mirror glasses on. She's right about that, at least. Let's both do our best in battle. What the hell? He's got... Oh, that's right. He has all these contraptions and stuff. Hopefully he doesn't try to cheat. <laughs> yeah, Neil's reaction to this game is always hilarious. But can he stop? Mega Evolution. Are those anime glasses? <laughs> Mega Evolution. Tell me they didn't look like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, that's right. This one's flying. He's electric flying. It's electric. Yeah. Believe it. It's electric. Do they even still do the electric slide anymore? I don't know. Yeah, they do electric probably, slide probably at, like at weddings, weddings and weddings and stuff.
Of course it uses a... The electric slide will never die. <laughs> He brought him out. Okay, now he's electric. It's not very fair that he can switch him out and I lose my turn. in his oh only one one mega evolution at a time Let's loose a blast of aura power from deep within its body. This never misses. Ooh. Good. 80. Mm. Uh, so we're going to just remove, we're going to get rid of sword dance. Yeah. Yeah. And very powerful. Helio disc. No, we'll keep battling. Disgusting. <laughs> it's disgustingly good. It's obviously a fast Pokemon. Passion inspires me. My my brother, you lost. Oh, Bonnie, when will you learn there's no shame in losing? I'm glad whenever I get to learn something new. Thanks to strong challengers like this boy here. <laughs> Thanks, Limit Square. Now, to the victor go the spoils. This voltage badge belongs to you. Oh, that's a cool badge. 
J5 receives the voltage badge. If you have a voltage badge, you will see you will be seen as a friend and equal to buy <laughs> equal by any Pokemon up to level 70. And here, take this TM. Underbolt. It has a power of 90 and an accuracy of 100%. It'll never miss. It's a really popular electric move. I don't think anyone can learn it, though. I don't have any electric Pokemon. I know, two badges in one stream. The future is now, thanks to science. Behold the machine that gives technical machines. <laughs> I just wanted to be able to say it, okay? At least once. Look, I'm not... It's not like I'm just trying to make myself stronger or... All I'm trying to do is enjoy every day to the fullest with my Pokemon while doing the science that I love with my inventing. <laughs> okay. I wasn't judging you. Oh, Snorlax can learn it. Snorlax can le learn Thunderbolt? Well, we have... <clears throat> hey, Castle Gaming Guy! <clears throat> Why, welcome everybody! How's it going? <laughs> How's it going? Thank you so much for the raid. Uh, you have blue sky codes. I do have some blue sky codes. Do you need a blue sky code text? It's going well. It's going well. We just beat our second gym in one stream, which I think was the fifth gym in Lumios City. And so it doesn't look anything like the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, I'll, I'll hit you up on Discord text after the stream. I don't know. I don't know. Thanks for the follow. My followers are, are, are anonymous. Are anonymous, in case you just want to lurk. Yeah, so everyone, welcome. Welcome, welcome. I am Jay Fries. I basically do retro variety, and I'm making my first playthrough all of the Pokemon games uh, when I was growing up. <laughs> Pokemon came out when I was in my mid early 20s. We'll say early 20s. It was in the late 90s, right? So it would have been early, early 20s. And so I was like, that's a kid's game. I'm never going to play Pokemon. And so so I never played any of them until now. And now I'm at, on Generation 6. So this is my seventh Pokemon because we played Black 1 and 2. So, yeah. And, hey, the last gym was a quiz show. And I only got one out of four wrong. So, therefore, that is a C. You know, that's 75%. That is a straight C. So I'm going to declare myself passing and therefore a Pokemaster. So, anyway. <laughs> Thanks, everyone, for uh, for being here. Thanks, Casual Gaming Guy, for the raid. And um, what I like to do... Well, what, what we were doing just now is apparently uh, Snorlax can learn electric moves. He, can, he seems to be able to learn everything. Um, well, he has strength... Surf, Body Slam, which is already 85, and Rollout. Maybe let's 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 replace Rollout. Although it is Rock, but we have other Rock moves. Let's I I say let's replace Rollout. Yeah. Okay. Pass agrees. So uh, we will go with that. Yeah, I have a Rock with someone else. I'll still give you an A plus on it. Thank you, Lemon. I have I have only used it like once. <laughs> so Did he learn it? Oh, there he goes. Yeah, that's I was waiting for that sound. Oh, I should I should mention so I am uh you'll you'll see me looking down because I am actually playing this on a 3DS and I'm I have it soft modded. This is the audio cable. 
<laughs> um, and it's wirelessly sending the signal. Hmm. The signal to here. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> the signal to uh, to my PC, and then I'm capturing the window on the PC. So um, you can look up on YouTube how to do it if you're okay with soft modding. I figured I could always like factory reset if I messed it up, so I wasn't feeling too bad about it. Um, but it's been cool. This is like the third DS game, 3DS game I've played. So. <laughs> hey, I own the game. I'm not using it to play ROMs. I own the game. I feel like if you own the game, you, you can do it. It's okay. I'm just using it to, to, to stream it. It's all I'm doing. <laughs> He streams it, dealt it. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was smelt it. All right, let's play a clip from that casual gaming guy, and everyone from my stream should go give him a follow. Uh oh, Scarlet and Violet. Hey, welcome to the Polar Plaza. We're the team that supports Drayton of the Elite Four, dude. <laughs> like, and you're casual, right? One of the BB League challengers. Anybody else read BB and think something else? I know all the gays in here do. <laughs> Don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> sure, that's very funny. I really love playing clips uh, from other streams. So, y'all all, it, it's, uh, y'all do good uh, curating them and having uh, your community capture them. So. <laughs> All right, we just, we just, you just missed this beating this gym. So there's got to be a way to get out of here fast. How do we get out of here fast? They should have made this at the top of the Eiffel Tower. And, um, and you could see out. Do I just stand here? Oh, wait, I could go up further? Can I go to the ceiling? It was asking me where I wanted to go. Oh shit, no. Why can't I just go? Go to the first floor. <laughs> all right, let's get out of here. Uh, I mean, I would have had to have gone through all the, I don't have to, I mean, I finished all the quiz, so. Oh wait, I, I received a, a hollow. See, this is what's good about like the little features where you can, it has uses the gyroscope and the 3DS are, are kind of cool because I'm using the actual hardware, right? It's, it's Professor Sycamore. Why, hello there. Oh, I, saw, I also have a 3DS button. There's my 3DS button. So you can see, <laughs> see what it looks like on the 3DS. Hello there. I wanted to talk to you for a little bit. Could you come to Lysandra Cafe? Oh my goodness, there's so many cafes in this city. Do you know where it is? No. You can see it from outside the Pokemon Center, right by Prism Tower. It's the Red Cafe. Just hop in a taxi. If you can't find it, be seeing you soon. All right, well, so... Uh, Y'all were saying that I can't save in this game or it will be bad. Um, the red building. Near this tower. Don't see any red buildings. You would think they would make it obvious. Wait, is this it? That is a Poke Center. Yeah. Hey, Orange. Yeah, it, it, I wish it had new games, too. Yeah. I wish that... Well, I guess they felt like this, the, the, the Switch is, is portable, too. And so that's why they decided uh, to do that. Okay. All right, y'all said I can't save... 
So let's let's um let's like I think I can leave the city real quick. Because we got rollerblades. Miss the touch screen. Yeah, I guess the Switch doesn't have a touch screen, does it? Okay, I'm, I'm on Route 13 now. Gonna get, we're gonna get way far away. <laughs> I don't want to be anywhere near where I, I will soft lock the game or something. <clears throat> yeah, I know the 3DS does, because I often touch it. <laughs> don't utilize it. Oh, the you mean the Switch does? I can't remember. Now I know the I know the Wii the Wii U controller does. So it does have a touch screen. Yeah, I guess you're right. They just don't use it, do they? I guess because you know why? It's because you're never using it. Well, I'm yet never using it as a handheld. I'm always have it in the docking station so I can, you know, stream it. So they have to. They have to. It's like a lowest common denominator. They either have to have it. Um, uh, you know, it, you have to. Ha you couldn't have it because you would. It could be docked, right? Yeah. Yeah, and it doesn't have a stylus, so you're getting fingerprints all over it and stuff. All right, I paused it because we were gonna play Fry's Quest. If you don't know what Fry's Quest then is, it's a, um, it is a, uh, a Twitch chat RPG that I've built for this for this channel. And so, uh, yeah, just do exclamation mark join if you'd like to play. There you go. Pass will come in. Welcome I bet you. Steel. We're not satisfied until you're not satisfied. I bet you one of these styluses that, that are on the end of these kind of pins that are electrostatic would work on it. Yeah, this, are you talking about this cool tea? <laughs> yeah, if you played last game, just wait 30 more seconds and then you can come in. We do that so that new players have a chance to play because only eight players can play at a time. Here comes Richard. All right. Thank you so much for the raid again. <laughs> I totally understand. All right, you can you can come in if you played last game. Ready for action. Ten golden fries purchased. That's more than enough. <laughs> if you have enough, uh, ready for battle. If you have enough, you could level up, Richard. Enough experience points. If you customers didn't exist, I'd have a better life. Or dark passenger. I guess you don't have enough. Oh, and you can go to FriesQuest.com if you want to learn Ready more about action. the game, the rules, and everything like that. I made an instruction booklet, basically. Soonish. Hey, Salty! Storming the castle. Just in time. All right, y'all need to attack that iron golem first. Yeah, the hobgoblins and the skeletons are easy. <laughs> But that iron golem will will mess you up. Like there, there's 18 to Richard. <laughs> All right, I will be back. Who invited the iron golem? I'll be right back. I'll see you in a second.
to Neil Steele's. We're not satisfied until you're not satisfied. Ready for action. Ready for action. Ready for battle. Ready for action. Ready for battle. Ready for action. Ready for battle.
something, will ya? Ready for battle. Ready for battle. Ready for battle. Ready for Ready battle. Ready for action. Ready for battle. Good luck. You'll certainly need it. a lot of dragons but only one platinum so probably not too bad thank you hello governor <laughs> fancy yourself some pokemon <laughs> a level 24 platinum oh did you well you survived and this one's a level 19 so Actually got a kind of equal distributed dragon. <laughs> um, Tex PNC, are you still here? You are still here. Message me on Discord, because I don't know what your username is on Discord. Why don't you just whisper? I could. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm tired of just surviving. I want to live. I want to live. <laughs> it's a gag gagan. No, I like uh, it should be a gagan party. Drag gay dragons. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh, so it's a gold star gay? A gold, gold star gagan? <laughs> I 
Or is that that's would be a platinum dragon? A platinum gagan. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I saw it. I saw it. That's not a bad idea. I'll add it to the to the list. Add it to the list. Yeah, I was gonna say we've talked about bonus rounds, but you're talking about like a almost like a, a gold bonus round or something like that. Oh yeah, it's um basically he was saying like have a bonus round where the uh maybe it's like all gold dragons and they drop gold as the, as you hit them. But if you miss, they're not dropping any gold and they only maybe stay around for three rounds and then they leave. Yeah. We have all kinds of ideas on our idea board. Um, I'll work on the, I'm gonna, well, I gotta finish the beard coloring stuff. And then when I have that done, I'm going to write up a, a game design document for the classes, the class system I want to implement. And then uh, we can, uh, we'll have an all fry fries quest stream where we talk about what we want to work on next. And we have, we'll bring up our idea board. We basically have a, a Miro board, if you've ever used it. It's like a virtual whiteboard, if you've ever used Miro. And we put all of our ideas on there, and then we kind of vote on what you want me to work on next. That's how we did it. We did it in the past, and it worked pretty well. Yeah, there'll be clear. I'm just gonna start with clerics and magic users as the, as two two classes, and then uh, and then. But you've got to figure out like how do you set up spells and how do you cast spells and how do you switch to be a class and what happens because like typically in D and D, clerics only could use blunt weapons. Or magic users couldn't use any armor. So it's like, oh my goodness. What are we gonna do? <laughs> so there's there's lots of things we could do, right? <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> it's fun. I've I've really enjoyed. I do want to get uh, I do want to get to the point, like ultimately, where I would like to take Fry's quest is that there's a story. And, and I want you all to write it. And so we will go on adventures in the Fry's Quest that you write. So that's where I would love to get to. Uh, save the Fry Princess. That could be one. <laughs> Yeah, you get there be lore and stuff. Uh, what do we got? Level eight, level nine. Oh my goodness, level seven, level five. Yeah, this is not looking too good. <laughs> yeah, that would be cool. I could open that up too. Yeah, we definitely have to create some sort of tool. Yeah. That outputs some data that the game read or something. <laughs> oh! 
Dark Passenger with a big hit. Oh, another hit. Yes. <laughs> Y'all did it. <laughs> Look at that. 746 gold each. And Dark Passenger, you can level up. Nice. Good job. And Pass got the fry. What was Pass's chance? Pass only had a 4% chance and won the fry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me scroll back up. Dark Passenger had 27. And Pass only had 4 and won the fry. <laughs> wow. Uh, well, you know, there is still a chance. He did try twice. Yeah, and we do say, if you die, you fry. So, yeah. <laughs> that was exciting. That was exciting. Very exciting. All right, back to the Pokemons, back to the city. I fried for your sins. <laughs> well, plus you just, you were just leveling up too, Dark Passenger, so. I live for your fry, <laughs> hey Zab. Like, look how close I got to the camera. Oh. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that again. <laughs> yeah, that was, a, that was a good... Uh, uh, that was close. Alright, so where is this... I thought there was a... Cafe... It's near the purple obelisk. Oh. remember what what he said hold on I wanted to talk to you a little bit the Lysandra Cafe. Oh, okay. You can see it from outside the Pokemon Center right by Prism Tower. Yeah, I guess that, yeah. I thought, yeah, I thought he was saying it was the, if you, if you went to the, here, like, oh, I see it. It helped, you know, going to that Poke Center and then looking and seeing red. It's like, okay, there it is. Over here. I was just having a conversation with Lysandra about Mega Evolution. I would like to congratulate you as well. Mega Evolution is something I too would like to be able to use. <laughs> 
Actually, Lysandra himself is a royal ancestry. He truly is a chosen one. <laughs> True, I'm a descendant of the king's younger brother. <laughs> okay. I am the king's younger brother's sister uncle. <laughs> that, <laughs> that being said, the story is 3,000 years old, so it might not be entirely reliable. By the way, j Prize, do you know the Holocaster is made? No, no, where? No, I don't know where it is. Oh, really? Well, they just happen to be made in Lysandra's lab. Lysandra is a great man. He supports trainers and Pokemon research. I don't trust the guy. He is la creepy. With some of the profit from the Holocaster. People can be divided into two groups. Are you talking those to those who give and those who take? Are you talking to Bozo guy. the Clown? Yeah, exactly. He does look like Bozo the Clown. That hair. It's just as how the Kalos region, two legendary Pokemon, gave life to Clown. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Mr. Bonnie is pretty, pretty creepy. I want to be the kind of person who gives. But in this world, some foolish humans exist who would show their strength by taking what isn't theirs. Okay, well, that's that's good. They are filth! I spit on them! <laughs> Wait. <laughs> long, long ago, the king... <laughs> long, long ago, the king of Kalos... Uh, sought to take everything for his own and he created a terrible weapon then the fire of destruction was unleashed that is the legend that has been passed down Elos is beautiful right now but there but will <laughs> there will be no foolish actions if the number of people and Pokemon do not increase so everyone must make love <laughs> That being said, the future isn't decided. You can't be sure each day will be like the one before. <sighs> By the way, this guy is deep. <laughs> what the King of Kalos did was reprehensible, but the ultimate weapon did manage to wash the world clean of that era's filth. Oh my goodness, this guy is intense. Uh, yeah, he's like he's like making love at the campground. He's fucking intense. Um, he, I got the king's rock. I spent up those to generate filth. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Thanks, Sab. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for <laughs> thank you for listening. <laughs> Take that as an apology for my uh, taking up your time. Okay. When you've got all this, like, French violins in the background and everything like that. What a passionate person. He's just like a blazing flame. He's a flamer, all right. Perhaps his pride in his lineage is what makes him burn so intensely. I think you're going into... Triumph, the insult comic dog. <laughs> for me to poop on. Yeah, they are filth. For me to poop on. <laughs> I, I, Sycamore, yeah, I don't even trust Sycamore now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That being said, what Lysandra said is only one way of looking at things. It's not necessarily the truth. J Fries, what's truly important is the time you spend together with others. Treasure these moments spent traveling in the Kalos region with your Pokemon. All right. Well, I'm sorry you all had to witness this. This was uh, quite a show. Uh, why are y'all all staring at me? <laughs> Oh. 
Welcome to the Sandra Cafe! Team Flare are the red-suited saviors of the world. What? Saviors of the world? Get her! <laughs> Paris is the city of love! <laughs> Oh, Lysandra, I'll have my five million uh, Pokemon saved soon. This is all creepy. You are all creepy. I remember my grandma scolding me and saying no bad deed goes unpunished. I wonder how she's doing. <laughs> what is that? Oh, so random. That is so the, random. The phrase is no good deed goes on. Yeah. Yeah, not no deed. <laughs> I, I learned I got another hollow program. Who's this person? Trevor. Oh, it's Trevor. <laughs> I thought he was saying Trevor. Hello. How have you been? I just wanted to let you know we're all going to meet on Route 14. Please come join us. I will go to Route 14. He radiates bottom energy. <laughs> Route 14. It must be this way. That's 16. Okay. Gary House. Right, so I just need to go north. Well, wait, I came. Okay, I came from that direction. And I want to go north. This place needs a compass. I guess it does have a map. side we are on the north side is that is this it anyone who's cool enough to be able to go to route 15 can pass right through though you know about route 15 numerically it's right in between 14 and 16 all right so they're saying fuck you Nintendo server shuts down might impact play. Oh, yeah, maybe. Uh Tex, I don't know what your uh your Discord name is. Can you message me on there and I'll send you that blue sky invite? Oh cool, yeah, just post it in the Discord pass. Hey Meister. You arrived very quickly. Oh, hi, Jay Meister. We were just comparing how complete our Pokédexes are. I won, of course. I'll leave you filling up the Pokédex to the god to you guys, Trevor. I don't like it when everyone does the same thing anyway. Jay Meister, let's compare how many Pokédex Pokémon we've seen, just like we always do. This time, let's compare how many Pokémon we've seen in the Mountain Kalos region. <laughs> Great. To put it another way, I'm challenging you to my own kind of Pokemon battle. So you've seen eight. I lost, how frustrating. Oh, so you've seen Gibble too, Jay Monster. Just knowing about the same Pokemon as someone else can make me, uh, can sure make you happy. There are sure many different types of Pokemon in Kalos. Now it's my turn. Let's have a Pokemon battle, Jay. Oh my goodness, why are you always battling me? Lorena. Meow stick. Oh. It's like a French cat. Oh. oh I forgot to switch. <laughs> yeah, meow. 
Wait. <laughs> meow, meow. I spit on you. <laughs> oh. She's some sort of like psychic Pokemon. I imagine that was Snorlax, but... Um... I think he has a dark move. Yeah, he has bite. He is dark. What's good against dark? I, you know what? I feel like I ask that every freaking stream. And y'all say fighting. I guess that's that. I that doesn't seem to make sense to me. That fighting would be good against dark. Bug. Yeah, I don't have any bug anymore. I have electricity. You would think electricity would be good against because it's lighting the dark with its electricity. I cast, yeah, I cast, I cast magic missile into the darkness. <laughs> yeah, some of them don't. Greninja. Oh, what is he? It doesn't matter, because he's dead. <laughs> Bugs thrive at night, and fighting types are disciplined and not fearing the dark. Okay. Is that how you remember it past? Wow, that was a really intense battle. Oh, hi, Shauna. When did you start watching? So where's uh, Tier Tierney? He's at the fighting dojo. Really? The fighting dojo? Sorry, I'm late, everybody. I was having so much fun with a sparring dance that I totally lost track of time. Oh, Tierno, have you found any good Pokemon for your dance team? <laughs> yep, sure did. I'm super close to my ideal dance team. We've got to have a dance number with his Pokemon by the end of this game. Please. That's great. Good for you. Hey, everybody. Let's go to the scary house. That one by uh, Laver City? That's just a rumor, isn't it? Come on. Let's go find out if the rumor's true together. Uh, I think I'll pass. I'm sure it's just a rumor, and I want to spend some time with my uh, Pokemon before heading to Laver City. Uh, oh, okay, bye. <laughs> so, is it really that scary? Let's go see for ourselves, Tierno. There's always some reason rumors like that get started. Sigh. 
Why are you tra- uh, Why are you traveling, Jay Fries? Everyone is working really hard at what they want to do, but I'm just all about memories. I'm kind of just goofing around. Just kidding. I will crush you. That's what I'm gonna do. I am a Pokemon master, and I will crush you. Is there a Pokemon up here? Why isn't there a Pokeball up here? I feel like I should get the dousing machine out. Oh, I see a Pokeball. Oh, you know what? I forgot to use my rare candy earlier. I usually give it to my starter. Let's take a look at how Izzy is doing. Okay, she's almost to the next level, so... Sell the rare candy. Oh no, I, I use it to level up. I level up. Put it away. Then using the dousing machine. Look what I have found. It's a trainer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Melina. Oh, it's a it's a snake. It's a it's a was it snake backwards? And oh no, this is a cobra. An Arbok. Uh Arbox are I don't remember what Arbox are. Oh, they're poison. They're poison. So what's usually good against poison then? What's your pass? What's your uh, uh, mnemonic to remember what's good against poison? Red and yellow kill a fella. Psychic or ground. Sounds fire. So we're gonna switch to Hodor. Flying where it sits here. Yeah. Yeah, I always think of like uh, a bird attacking a snake. That's why I went with, with flying. Dare he attack Hodor like that? How dare he?
keep your eyes peeled and you never know what you'll find. I was going to use some uh, potions. Oh my. Oh, let's try this. We haven't tried this yet. Thunderbolt. Oh, I didn't. It was very effective. Do me. What is he? Is he electric? He's a dragon. Well, good. Because I have... He doesn't look like a dragon. He definitely doesn't look uh, legendary either. But you were right. I guess I should be trying to capture things, shouldn't I? <laughs> oh, man. I'm really good at this. A big mushroom. What? What is a big... <laughs> uh, what does a big mushroom do? A very large and rare mushroom. It's popular with a certain class of collectors and sought out by them. Okay. Sell it for big money. Big money. Oh, all right. Here it is again. We will try not to kill it this time. It sat on me. I sit on it. I'm sorry, pass. On, oh, you need to level Tyrant. Oh, between 4 a.m. and 8 p.m. to evolve it. Oh. Interesting. Okay, I'll do it tomorrow. Someone remind me. Oh, pop paralysis. Daytime evolution. Got it. Oh. Okay, this looks like a goose. Can I shock ghosts? I like Snorlax. He always looks happy. Yeah, he's like one of the originals. That's what I thought.
What synthesis? Looks terrible. No, I don't care about that. Basically, it's photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. Oh shit, I should have captured it again. <sighs> you feel shame is to be alive. An attempt to never forget that. I battle against trainers like you. <laughs> Online battles without any items, yeah. A Goomy. Oh, this thing. Oh, we know what to do. incredible power i feel something awakening inside me he's he's coming out of the closet it's so nice okay i've known forever since my previous life that we would meet here today and face off creepy Oh my goodness, that picture. You were challenged by Hex Maniac Anina. Wait, wait. That is a ghost. I remember. <laughs> and ghost, we need to switch to. Oh, he's like fire, uh, fire ghost. Yeah. Belly drum. That sounds like an awesome move. The user maximizes its attack stat in exchange for hit points equal to half of its... Oh my goodness, no. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Hunter, so keep battling. Wizardry is this? <laughs> what wizardry is this? Oh, I see a Pokeball over there. Uh, 
A stunk fish. <laughs> oh, we're gonna totally try and capture that. Odor, don't kill it. Oh, there we go. Of course, he paralyzed me. He's like electric fish, right? Or something. Electric water. He's the Peter Pokemon. He's Peter Parker. survive electric ground <laughs> yeah we weren't gonna survive that there was no way we were to get in that one. He was definitely electric because he, he cast an electric one. Hyper potion. Become one with nature to understand how Pokemon truly feel. Holly world. Oh yeah, he's like a psychic. I remember so oh he's water. I it was the swirly thing that uh that confused me. Water fighting? Okay. That's not going to do shit. I was paralyzed. Bubble. Your bubbles don't frighten us. Oh, yeah. He's dragon fighting? I don't remember what he is. This dragon? Ow. <laughs> Got my finger stuck in my beard. I have neither. I do have dragon. Yeah. Oh. I don't remember this one. 
I remember this one. But I don't remember what he has. He's just normal. What amazing power! Do you understand how Pokemon feel? Questions. Come on this way! Oh, is this the spooky house? So this is the house. It is a scary house, isn't it? Well, I guess you should, we should go inside. Why should we go inside? What? You're going inside? Are you all serious? Serena is off spending time with her Pokemon. So I guess we'll just have to go in without her and see if the rumor is true by ourselves. I guess so. Let's just go inside by ourselves then. <laughs> oh no, is it gonna be scary? Oh, this guy looks scary. Let's get started then. Oh, oh, why is it floating? It was a dark and stormy night many years ago. <laughs> Welcome everybody. Thank you, Shadow. Welcome. How's it going? How was your stream? We were just getting told a ghost story. So I hope you're ready for a spooky story. What were you up to? You were playing Scarlet and Violet. Nice. Well, welcome Raiders. I'm Jay Fries. Um, I'm in my kind of first playthrough of Pokemon. Uh, uh, I guess generation by generation. And we finally made it to Pokemon X. <laughs> so and and i'm playing it on a on a 3ds so i don't know why the camera keeps getting closer and closer and closer like that <laughs> cool new pokemon dlc nice well i haven't gotten the scarlet and violet yet i think i have moon next so well welcome everyone and uh let me play a uh a clip from your stream and everyone should go give you a follow oh, oh xenoblade chronicles like 3 cool i've played one you are for me rolling rolling smash and sword bash let's go great a new oh this looks Another one down. I can see the results. <laughs> that looked like the merging or whatever crafting mechanic they had in Xenoblade 1. Yeah, exactly. I mean, exactly. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this ghost story as the camera gets closer and closer. It was a dark and stormy night many years ago. Lost, I arrived at this house and went inside. The lights would not turn on, so I fearfully looked around the house. Eventually, I made my way into the kitchen. There was no sign of anyone being there. I found the fridge, and when I opened it, faint light leaked out. Well, I mean, it's a fridge. I could finally make out my surroundings, and I saw the faint outline of a man huddling in the corner of the room. <laughs> I tried to tell him that I was lost and I was hoping he'd let me stay until morning. But when I approached him, the man suddenly screamed, Stay back! I apologized and continued to plead my case. Please. Can't you help me? 
I'm not talking to you, he shouted. I looked at the man in surprise when I did this. The man asked me, Can't you see them behind you? A horde of faceless men! <laughs> now then, since I told a wonderful story that will always haunt you, would you be so kind to tip me? <laughs> Man! If you don't, you might see something really scary. Oh, shit. Yeah, I want to see something scary. Yeah, exactly. This was all... This was all a, a scam. You're charging us? <laughs> Even haunted houses aren't free, you know. Would you like to give him a tip? Oh, man, I want to see something scary. Should I tip him? What do y'all think? We could not tip him. What do you think? Should we tip him 100? Say no? Okay. Sheesh, let's get out of here. Huh? Is it over already? I wasn't really listening. Was that story you just told really true? <laughs> Alright, there you go. Sigh, I guess it really was a scary house in a way. Well, I know you wanted to go camping. And that was kind of like camping, I guess. People usually tell scary stories by the campfire, right? I've had enough of dark places and scary things. I'd, I'd rather release, rehearse my dances. I'll see you later. What should I do next? I guess I'll go to uh, Lavera City. See you later, J Meister. Please compare Pokédexes with me again soon. What happens if I go back in? I guess we'll we'll find out. Some things are best left unknown. The truth is best carried to the grave. There you go. What's what am I hitting? Oh, it's it's a chair. I guess that's it. Oh, let's check his trash can. Dang it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would think it would be hard to remember everything. All right, I need to be wrapping up soon. Let's see if we can capture this. Odor has been killing everything. Oh my. More paralysis, yay. He always kills everything. Slumber party, we can tell scary stories. <laughs> Earthquake! I love Earthquake. Earthquake is a great move. But what should he lose? I'm gonna lose Ancient Power. Although that leaves me with no rock moves. But Ancient... I have been very disappointed with Ancient Power. 60... 80... I guess I could lose Dragon Tail, too. Oh, no! thought I hit <laughs> you think lose dragon tail <laughs> all right I'll lose dragon tail we already have a dragon move and it'd be good to keep a, at least one rock move all right let's um let's heal up uh All 
right, and we will save. Yes. Pause. Yay! Because uh, it's better. Yeah, in case. But I mean, I've been really disappointed in like, you know, you use it against like a flying, and it 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 doesn't one hit them. <laughs> I want all my attacks to one hit kill. <laughs> yeah, until a better one comes along. True, true. Well, thanks everyone for being here. Um, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday at 9.30 p.m. Eastern. And on Saturdays at 3 p.m. Eastern. So I will be back. And that's a whole lot. And that is five times a week. <laughs> and Neil's like, oh my god, you stream too much. I have never... You've never, you've never said that. I'm putting words into your mouth. I enjoy streaming. I know that you do. <laughs> it's I've really just kind of. Uh, I had never noticed how much oh that God. your shirt is purple and it looks blue on on, camera. The, on stream. Yeah, we we can never find a good camera that is. I think like, it's the. I think it's your your over. You're washing it out with the light. Oh, that could be. Here. Or, or it's the color temperature. There now it's dark. <laughs> No, I think it's, it's the still... color temperature, because remember how greens were bad on the last camera? Yeah, yeah. <gasps> Good night, everybody. Good night, guys. What about two years ago? Remember when you streamed twice a day on the weekends? I did. And that was too much. <laughs> that was that was too much. crazy. Well, that was when it was during the pandemic. And so it was probably like four years ago and uh, or three years ago. And it was, uh, it was because we were doing literally nothing past. And I was like, yeah, so I do an afternoon stream and then an evening stream and on the weekends. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's been, uh, yeah, I enjoy, I enjoy streaming. So I, uh, yeah, I, that's why I do it five times a day, five times a day, five times a week. Anyway, thank you all for being here. If you can't be here live, go check out my YouTube channel. Everything's over there. Those, even those those streams that were twice a day. <laughs> it does still feel like yesterday, but it was four years ago now, which is crazy. Well, I just keep thinking like, wow, now 2018 is five years ago. I can't believe 2018 is five years ago. That seems crazy. And so, yeah, now 20, you know, it's just, I don't know, time flies. Time flies. And, uh, but yeah, I, like I said, I enjoy streaming. And so, I'm not planning on going anywhere and hopefully we'll have more growth on the channel this year, more time to work on Fry's quest. And, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what 2024 brings to the channel. Uh, in April will be my four year st streaming anniversary. So yeah, believe it or not. Anyway, thank you to all these people over here. They're my, uh, subscribers. They get ad-free viewing and all these emotes. Thank you so much, subscribers. Thank you so much. I appreciate it so much. I can't thank y'all enough for subscribing. Um, as always, y'all have to subscribe. Uh, just being here is more than enough. Um, if you want to hang out between streams, go check out the Discord. And here is our raid messages, because we always raid somebody. I like raiding people. See who's on right now. It is a Friday night, so I don't necessarily expect too much. A slow night. Show up to. Still looking. We will go over to Retro Gaming Backlog, who is playing Paper Mario. Ah, the Paper. Thousand Year Door. Oh, the Thousand Year Door. Yeah. That game felt like it was a thousand years. <laughs> I've. I haven't played that in years now. That was like one of the first games I played, Neil. Yeah. And you remember that? 
<laughs> yeah, I remember all the ones that seem like they take an eternity. <laughs> it takes a thousand years. <laughs> no, no, no. I enjoy interacting with you all. I enjoy uh, hanging out and just chit-chatting and doing crazy French accents. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's a stinky cheese. <laughs> Oh, they are going to do a remake of... Oh, yeah, they are. I forgot. They did announce... It was a great game. It was one of my favorite... In fact, I, I think I declared it my favorite Paper Mario game. So, uh, Paper Mario was one of the first series that I played through. It was the I, it was actually the, the genesis of all of these kind of series playthrough. Because Origami King was coming out. And I was like, oh, you know what? I've never played a Paper Mario game. I should play all of them. And that's when I started streaming like series from the beginning. And so I did that. And then I did Legend of Zelda. And then I did uh, Metroid, Castlevania, Pokemon, Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> the list goes on and on. So anyway, <laughs> I think this is game like 130 or something like that. I've streamed a lot of games. Anyway, thank you again for being here. And we're almost out of time. The raid timer's almost up. <laughs> Be safe. Have a good weekend. See you next time. <laughs>